Terriers get a 4 nothing win against Bucknell today. We're joined by head coach Nancy Feldman. Really just everything seemed to work today. You know, the offense did well, of course. Defensively, held a Bucknell team that took over 16 shots per game to just two or three coming in. It seems this week you guys got better and better over just seven days. Yeah, so I don't think that's because we trained any differently than we'd been training, uh, but I think that the confidence is building. And that's a big part of being successful. And you, what comes first, confidence or success? We had to we had to dig down deep and br bring out confidence and and play with confidence when we weren't early on having great success. And I think that speaks to the mental strength and the persistence of this group of players. Uh, when you're winning, it's easy to be confident. So, um, and I thought I do think our play has continued to get better. This, like you said, the last seven days, and this was probably our most complete game. And um, and I just like that we stayed strong to keep doing the things that were working and sharing the ball and defending as a unit. I mean, those are all the one great goalkeeping uh, save there when we needed it. And those are the components um, of having consistent success. Erica Kaczynski, a player who's had to work so hard to get back to this point and seeing her two school goal, score two goals, how did you feel for her on the sideline? Well, I felt great for her. I also know that uh, that's good for all of us because uh, when you get a goal score, starting to feel like she can score goals every minute of the game or every time she steps on the field, it's a very powerful thing. Uh, and, and a good goal score presses. Uh, and when they're scoring goals, they're not pressing because they have such belief in themselves. But when it's, it's been a long time. And I asked her just in the huddle, when's the last time you scored two goals? And in a two tenths of a second, she said, Lafayette less here. And so she knew exactly the last time she scored two goals. Uh, it's been a long road for her and she's starting to play like Erica Kaczynski uh, before her injury. What's really stood out this past week, too, has been the youth. You had Chelsea Churchill, Aaron Neville, Dory Barley Barrett all getting their first career goals. Did you expect the, the youth on this team to contribute so much so quickly? We knew we needed a couple of them. Uh, we had lost a lot to graduation, but I don't think I expected three to be starting and using even more off the bench pretty consistently. So they're a special group. They... Uh, did you mention Erin getting her first goal as well? I did, yep. That yeah. was a nice shot. It was a great <laughs> shot. We actually talked about that in the team meeting the other day, that she's a kid that can hit hit the upper corner, and that um, that's a good go-for-it shot for her, where other, other players, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that's a good shot for all the players, but an outside back like Erin that can strike a ball like Erin can. So I guess the point is, I mean, they we need them this year. We, we need them this year, and they and they showed up on campus ready to go. They're a smart group on the field and off the field. They're a very disciplined and motivated group, but the, and they're also a confident group, humble, learning from the older players, but confident in their own abilities, and they're, they're definitely helping us out. And um, Chelsea has come in big in some moments off the bench, and, uh, yeah, we're really forward. And then there's a couple of kids like Libby came in, and I thought for her 15 minutes there, did a great job, and she hasn't gotten a lot of minutes. So, yeah, we got a good core of freshmen that are going to help us. Well, good luck on the road. We look forward to seeing you back here in a couple weeks. Thanks very much. All right, joined by Erica Kaczynski of the Terriers after BU takes down Bucknell 4 nothing and two goals for you today. And you've been battling injury this year, last couple years. How did it feel to just translate that to some success today? Amazing. Not only did that happen after about a year of recovery, but our team just played amazing today. We felt great out there. We connected. It was so cool to finally be a part of that again and to be part of the team and see them all play so amazing. So that was really cool. It was a long road trip to start the year, up and down a little bit, but now you guys yeah. get home and you dominate. You outscored the three teams eight to two. What's going so well? How has this all come together so fast? I mean, we're so excited to first be playing in the Patriot League again, to be back at Nickerson. The, everything that we learned from playing those more top teams in the beginning of the season is reflecting right now. We're playing so well, we're connecting, and everything's finally coming together. We're really excited for the rest of the year. Thanks for your time. Of course. Thank you.